So, John, I had not heard about this until now. This next story I saw from your timeline, and I grabbed it for the show today. That's one of the things that I'll do here is sometimes I'll I'll uh, I'll get news from my guests in addition to sharing news with my guests. And that happened today. Um, unfortunately, this is very horrible news. But uh, yeah, absolutely. But news nonetheless. There was another fatal police shooting, and this one happened right in my neighborhood. I live in Pasadena, California, and this happened right in Pasadena. This is from the Pasadena Black Pages. Community members say Anthony McLean killing was uncalled for and unjustified. So this was shortly after 8 p.m. A man who has been identified as Anthony McLean, 32 years old of Pasadena. He was wounded and later succumbed to his injury after the incident. Uh, witnesses say police approached his car with their guns out, ordered him out of his car. They were exchanging words. McLean broke, started to run from police officers. Officers were in pursuit, and uh, one officer pulled out his weapon and shot McLean in the back. As McLean went to the ground, the officer shot him two more times. Uh, that was when one of several pedestrians at the scene yelled out to the officer not to shoot again. Officers later say they found a gun. Witnesses say they never saw a weapon. And when McLean ran past them, he had nothing in his hands. Police, uh, Pasadena police also tased a man who the crowd says was no threat to them. Bully tactics, one bystander said. After they tased that man, ready for this, folks? Police maced a 10-year-old child as they consciously sprayed a crowd who was voicing their anger toward police about the shooting, a 10 year old child, you know, in Seattle, they, um, you know, they, they maced, uh, an 80 year old woman. And then I think recently in one of the black lives matter protests, they, they maced an eight year old. Now they're, they're macing a 10 year old. Uh, I think at this rate, eventually they're just going to mace a, a, what, what an infant. Is that going to be next? It's unbelievable. I mean, for- we, we do it in other countries, I guess. So, you know, why, why not yeah. just bring it, bring it on home now, you know? Yeah. So here's some footage that's been posted so far. So this is after the fact. We going belly, nigga. Come here. Straight up. So that's blood. He was trying to kill him right in my face. Y'all shot this man three times in his back while he was running from y'all. Y'all mad because y'all couldn't keep up? So you go kill him? The fuck? So they're pointing at the blood on the ground. They're saying that this man was running, his back was turned. The police are claiming that he had a gun. And the police are claiming that he reached for it. No witness accounts corroborate that so far. No one's saying, yes, he reached for a gun. Which, first of all, if he did have a gun on his person and was running away, that's that doesn't justify anything. He's you not know? pointing it at them. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that doesn't justify I, anything. I, I think that that uh, it even needs to be backed up one, one step more, which is that uh, they were pulled over for, like, a vehicle... You know, I, I don't know. I, I'm not sure what it was, but a window he tinter. He was just pulled a, you know, over. Yeah, they were just pulled over because their 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 vehicle wasn't up to code in one way or another. Um, and I I guess I would say why are you know, uh, why are armed soldiers uh, doing that job in the first place? You know what I mean? Like send them a damn ticket in the mail or something. But like you know, like like why does someone armed and and ready to shoot need to be out there worrying about a, a broken side view mirror or whatever you know what i mean it's like exactly it, it, it just makes no sense why don't we and, have different types of officers why don't right. we have like traffic enforcement and they don't have a gun because they don't freaking need one right and they have a body cam and they pull people over and they say hey you have a busted tail light here's a warning yeah, or hey you got absolutely it. The the law enforcement officials say trope in journalism is also such a joke. It's like the fact that that you know what I mean is sort of that that's that's always at least part of the lead. And uh, yeah, they're gonna say they're gonna say an awful lot to to protect to their protect themselves interests. You know? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And and it's like. They will put that little thing like where it's like the law enforcement claims alleged, but they still 
like as you indicated, they run with that story as if it's like when law enforcement gives their side of the story, it's that fun. is that is the official story until proven otherwise. Right, right. It's, and and all the all the news outlets just run with that version of the story and and that's it, you know. And they and mm-hmm. they always say like, "Oh, we're conducting an internal investigation." It's like, "Okay, well, first of all, you're investigating yourself." So, bullshit, you know. Um and and second of all, they just say that and then, you know, hope that people kind of just move on to the next thing and and, you know, a couple of months down the line, they come out with whatever and Worst case, these guys get reassigned to another another precinct, and and they just keep going on. You know, I mean, it's it's awful. Well, it's a it's a horrible system, and and they drag their feet as long as they can on prosecuting anybody because they want to make sure that it's out of the public spotlight before they do anything. Exactly, and the cycle continues. Yeah, it all it and all stands under Kamala Harris. So. Oh yeah, no, like I I I have a feeling <laughs> you're, you're right about that. Yeah, man. She's she's one of the good cops. <laughs> <laughs> she's gonna fix all this. She's got. Oh it. yeah, she's yeah. gonna fix all this. It's gonna she be has a great track record. So her and Biden both, they're gonna put their heads together and they're gonna be like, okay, uh, we only throw them in jail for pot and shoot them in the leg. We fixed it. Yeah, we exactly. Fixed it. Totally fixed. And actually, I I think the problem is they're not funded enough. So you know. Let's right. uh, let's give them a little more a little more money for for training and uh, you know and uh, military vehicles. Yeah, no kidding. A, a, a town of seven thousand people needs a tank. They they they, they yeah. for sure need that tank so they can make a Absolutely. really dumb decision on a Saturday night someday. They need exactly. that tank. Exactly. I mean, it's to the point, and, and that's why, like, I've always been one of those people where I'm just like, no, I I don't. I don't say, oh, we just need to reform them. No, that, that ship has sailed. You can't yeah. reform this. The dog agrees. The dog agrees with us. <laughs> Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tweet me an article at Cone. We'll go through it together and 